Ladies and gentlemen, hey. listen. We are back. We're back. Marriage another, and Money Podcast. Yes, another episode with this beautiful woman right here. I don't know. She can, she, she could get it right now. Is it now. the color or the I don't the know if we're going to finish it. It's, it's, it's all of it. It's all of it. Look. Wait, we said we were going to stay focused. We Yo, had people okay. we had to thank um, this um, week. I'm thankful for that, for this outfit you got on right now. So. So, yeah, this lucky. week we did something pretty cool. You yeah. know, we were honored by the city of Atlanta, we were given a proclamation. And a day, mm-hmm. are you ready for this? It's called Egypt and Mike Appreciation Day. That is so cool. In Atlanta. Just so, so y'all cool. know, I'm like, ah! <laughs> on the inside, you know, on the inside. On the inside? <laughs> on the inside. Well, because when, when we got the phone call, uh-huh. um, we were working. Like, yep. you know, we were working on somebody's house and... I thought it was a joke at first. Like, Mm -hmm. come on. The city of Atlanta wants to honor us. And I mean, it was a pretty big deal. So we are humbled. Yes. We are grateful. We're thankful. Mm -hmm. And we want to give a huge thanks to the city of Atlanta, but specifically you. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't watch the show, if you guys didn't lift us up the way you do and Mm -hmm. watch the podcast and really catch on to... To what we're trying to do, which is spread love and inspire yeah. along the way, then right. you know this wouldn't have happened. And just so y'all know, my mama is on <laughs> one right now. <laughs> Your mama is on one too. Why you say that? Is it because his mom? We call her Bossy, mm-hmm. um, but her name is Teresa, and she was. I have never seen your mom like quiver. Yeah, we have it on film because yeah, she's yeah. unbreakable. We call yeah. her in the family like unbreakable. Very you, much so. You won't get a smile. You won't get a, you won't know how she's feeling at any given time. Uh-huh. You just better eat her yams. So. <laughs> what you will not <laughs> hesitate to do because them yams be hitting. But she, no. Can I get to the yams? You can see it's because we had it on camera when they called his name and, you know, we're kind of going over everything. Bossy was like. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look at yeah, my yeah. face. Zoom into my face real quick, y'all. <laughs> okay. But so she's going to kill what, me if it is. What are we going to do like, with our day? No, wait. I got to do this right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to save you right again. now. I'm trying to save you. Okay? You better leave my mama alone. Not my, not my mama biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Anyway, What are we anyway, going to do? It was pretty fantastic. Um, with our day. With the day. What are we going to do with sleep. our day? Sleep. That's like, think about it. All we do is seemingly... You know, work and travel and everything. Mm-hmm. I would like to relax and make it like a self. You don't even know how day. to relax. Every time you say I want to relax, I don't want to do nothing, babe. The laptop comes out, some deal starts to come up, something, something, babe. Can you remodel this? Now we started this podcast out right. Is this the direction you want to go, Michael Jackson? I'm thankful for each and every person that <laughs> Listen, was part of the we proclamation. Guests. We have yes, guests. We, we got to get on with it. <laughs> Ring the bell. We, gotta, we have guests. Okay. Tell us about these guests. So, they're well, amazing. Well, goodness, there's there's so much to tell. First, I, I need to make sure you subscribe. Yes, right? please if, do. If you're loving the please podcast, do. you're loving what, what you're saying, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications mm-hmm. so you know when we have a new podcast. And tell your friends. Um, um, and so, her name is Chi-Chi, y'all. No, it's not. Well, it's not. That's that. Her name is Chi-Chi to people that know her. But, Don't be hacking like they know her well, like that because they run up on her anyway, and start calling her Chi-Chi. It's Leticia. There we go. Gardner and Rod Gardner. Y'all know them on social media because they are hot. Yes. You know, we love their posts. They're mm-hmm. inspirational. They show you that marriage mm-hmm. works, but they are also a team and they are fit. Oh, my God. They are fit. Okay, so I don't have to work out because I just go to <laughs> their page and I'm like, whoo, they did enough for me for the day. I'm tired. Uh-huh. So- <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But anyway, so let me give them their real props. So Leticia Gardner, she owns a beauty and wellness company. It's called Your Own Skinny. Yes. And Rod Gardner, he is a former NFL player, played Mm -hmm. for the Redskins. I mean, they got credentials Mm -hmm. here. Green Bay Packers, Kansas City Chiefs, the Mm -hmm. Panthers, and owns G Shred Supplements. They are a powerhouse. They're building this healthcare uh, empire, essentially. So help us welcome them. Yes. To the, show. to the show, guys. Welcome. Welcome, guys. <laughs> look, I, he, look I'm, I'm about to go back to the gym right now, okay? <laughs> Y'all Got me just over come here. in smelling like green drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, man. She don't want no green drink, though. She I will that. drink it from time to time. She will. She I'm yeah. not as healthy as he is. I'm healthy, but I don't need that many muscles. A little That's jiggle true. is important for all, a woman. all we see of y'all online is like working out uh-huh. and everything. So what, wait, let's be clear. You're not trainers. We're not trainers. We are not okay. trainers. You're not trainers. No training. We are just in the health and fitness business and own businesses in that realm. Okay. But we yes. do not physically train. We got everything that's going to help your body from the inside to the outside look its best, mm-hmm. but we're going to give you that product to do it, but you're going to have to go do the you work. You want to do it yourself. You're not going to stress you. me out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but how, how many times a day do people slide in your DM saying, I want you to train me? Oh, right. All, right, the, right. Time. All, All the, the time. All the time. All the time. 
all the time. And you ain't never take it up, take any of them up on the offer? I work out with my girlfriends all the time, but that's it. That's I'm it. not a trainer. I almost slid in your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> we can work out together, right? but to train you, I feel like a lot of times people need, they want to be pushed, but uh -huh. to me, to, to have the body that you want, you have to be somewhat self-motivated. That's, and if, I, you're not, if you don't look in the mirror and don't like what you see and you're not willing to change it, mm -hmm. then me telling you any different isn't really going to help you. What was your journey then? So if you are not, if you are not like a trainer and you say she'll still eat, she won't eat the oh, green drinks. Life, uh, so, uh, so, uh, do you, <laughs> what was your journey like to, to this fitness that we so see? So when I, I met Rod back in 2009, mm -hmm. I mean, I was always super slim growing up. Mm -hmm. So we, he would work out all the time. It was just part of his natural self being an athlete. So I would work out and go to the gym, take classes. And it was cool. And naturally, I was slim, so it wasn't really hard. It wasn't until after we got married and we had our daughter, Layla, who I was about 30 when I had her. And whew, the way it hit different. Uh -huh. yeah, it uh -huh. hit, the way it hit different after it kids did. in your they 30s call it or the 20s. Thickening. It's yeah. the thickening. And I was like, oh, I can't, I can't see what I need to see down yeah. here anymore. <laughs> I started having... You know, fat places. I ain't never had it before. It's called so. the fupa. The fupa. I was like, I don't, I don't I like, like this. I be liking them fupas like now. I know, baby. Sometimes. Like I'm yeah. okay with it. That's <laughs> why I, I don't like it. My excuse of why I keep the fupa is because he, like he likes oh, it. Like, well, he don't like that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's no, not no, the no, one no, to tell you. He's going to be like... Tighten up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Like, he what? would say oh, that? Know. Oh, have, yeah. yes, he will, 100%. I got to give on. If I tell him, I might be oh, I feel fat after uh -huh. I just ate that, he's not going to be like, no, baby, you look fine. He's going to go to what I just ate. He's going to count the calories on the back. Well, what happened? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you, you, call, and you the... call me bad? <laughs> you well, call you me bad? bad? I, 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 I am bad, man. Sometimes I just feel like I always got to. Like, yeah. He's like, bad. I gotta Keep tell my truth. I'd be like, no, you don't. She'd be like, no, no lie to me. Keep yeah. that truth to you. I don't want to <laughs> lie to me. She'd tell me to lie to her. Just lie, lie to me. me. So me. he's working Just on that. So I am working on I'm about to throw out a bombshell there. Okay. Because okay. okay. I've thought this, self to my, this to myself randomly. If ever either of you were to just, you know, gain a little bit too much weight, would it bother one of you? Yes. Uh, he, well, he didn't always look like this, so uh -huh. he was the big I was little... always slim. Though. You were, I no, mean, no, no, I wasn't no, no, no. slim. And I got a little bulky one time. No, no, no. You were a little thick. You're like a little bear for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Earlier on, oh, back in the day before he, he was got more into bulked. this. Oh, he was just, he was, th he was never like fat, but uh -huh. he was thick. He was yeah. a lot. You know, he's eating them grilled cheese every night. We were, we were enjoying that. Spanish food, so cool. She food. did have me on that. We, we was happy. Uh -huh. We were being a happy time. Our lifestyle was different. Our lifestyle was different. Okay. different. Okay. And I was in my 20s back then, yeah. so yeah. I could burn it with no you, you problem. You still look like you're in your 20s well, yes. now. Yes. Nobody yes. would believe you we guys have three children. We were still in the streets. Uh -huh. We was yeah. eating wings after the club. You know, it was different. We lived a different lifestyle mm -hmm. back then. Yeah. But the, what got him to this point was... What happened? I told him one day, I was like, you know, you, he thought he was doing it in summertime. He mm -hmm. thought he had little abs in the front. But I was like, I touched him in the back. I said, like, you don't got no muscle in your back. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> I said, in your back. I said, you got a little no, muscle in the front, me. but you real soft. I was looking at that on Instagram, and she was like, yeah, you don't have muscle you in your back. You don't look like right that online. <laughs> I was like, y'all are way too real. I love it. Hey, man, oh I God. said, who? And then he went over time. He ain't been the same since. Man, yeah. I brought it with about every that one little body comment, that one little program, comment took everything. Him. And I went from zero to 100. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Y'all are great. Y'all are great. So you've been married for how long? Nine years. Yes. And you have three girls. No, no two girls, one boy. Two okay. girls, one boy. I have a son. And okay. a dog. And, but it's a, you, it's a blended family. It's a 100% blended family. So tell us all about, about your dynamic. Oh, that blended family is ghetto, boy. Ghetto. But. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's a good, it's a challenge. But I did have a son when I got yeah. to the NFL. So it was with my college, high school girlfriend. Okay. Which is still, you know, this is a baby mama stuff. So we yeah. had that little situation. He lived in Jacksonville. I was in Atlanta the whole time. So we only have him during the holidays and summers. But and when stuff. I met my wife, she had a daughter as well. Mm -hmm. It was around four when we met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just turned 18. Goodness. Yeah, just turned 18. Wow. So I've been they around that fast, don't they? Years, ain't it? Yeah, that's crazy. Going so at 14, that point yeah. in time, we was doing that blended family thing. My son was in Jacksonville. Nigel was here. One thing good about it, the parents, the baby mom and baby dad, they wasn't really around. Mm. You yeah, know, we don't have to deal with too much My outside, son, I right? dealt with him direct majority of the time. Okay. She didn't even have to deal with the baby dad. So we didn't have those dynamics. Baby we really had to drama. try to navigate okay. as much. Okay. But just trying to be one. Like me trying to be a father of Nigel when she's not really my daughter. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a little different. People want to act like, oh, no, it's the same love. No, it ain't. It mm. is different. It is mm. different. It is different. And it's, it's much challenging yeah. because 
I'm able to see the flaws faster than her. You mm. know, she and vice versa say, in the kids. Yeah. Okay. So now so me having different. a daughter, I can see it now because my little baby is like the best thing ever. And, and I, she's how old? She no the baby wrong. is eight. She's eight, but then it was like, man, why can't you see that same vision? Of Asia? But it's, uh, you know, or like, Little Rod. Or Little Rod. You know, I'm always hard on him because here. at the end of the day, it's just not the but, same. But also, yes. you're different, right? Because, different. like, when you, the age you were when he at was born time. versus mm-hmm. yeah. when your yeah. daughter was born. Because we, we have three We have three kids. Three yeah. And yeah. our eldest is 21. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. We have an 11 year old and a four year old. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah. So, you know, we were different parents at each stage. They're like, wait a minute, which mom did you get? Which dad? Did you get? And then they all mad at you right. about it. The older two kids were more mad at us at the lifestyle the eight year old gets. I'm like, we was lost. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to tell my son. Like, son we didn't know no better. Yeah. I was we in the streets the back then. We did the best we could. Uh-huh. You know, with what we had. Exactly. But it is. It is. But I do think that's a big thing. Being a blended family, people don't talk about that the same because. It was different for me because both the kids are mine. I birthed mm-hmm. them. I love them. They're still just innocent. Mm-hmm. And but with his son the same way, I'm like, boy, he be doing all of that. Oh, it ain't that bad. Yeah. But you can point out everything wrong with the other one. <laughs> okay. So that dynamic is definitely it's interesting. I think that's a whole other, whole another podcast. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! no, no, no. This is the podcast. I mean, at the end of the day, we try to love our kids as much mm-hmm. as possible. Yeah. We try to so always feed them to them. Mm-hmm. We try to see the greatness in them. Yeah. Try to and push we try it to out push of them. them. <laughs> but now it just seems like since we try to get the kids a better life than what we had, uh-huh. they don't have the same drive that we had. Yes. That drives me yeah. insane. It yeah. is a different world. So it's it's be totally me trying to figure out how to, you know, motivate, but not be like. Well, you're just as sorry as you want to be. I want to give you back to God, but Wait, I don't so want to give you back to God. Right. I want to keep but, you. I don't want to give you back to God. What? Just, <laughs> what? So, like, what? Why do I got daddy issues? In your house. I like to be know. real. I got to keep it 100. I don't like yeah, doing yeah. sound, but let's keep so it So, in your house, you know, what? would it get under your skin if your kids are just, like, sitting around eating what? cheeses? What? With me, I want my dog to have a dog. I try to get he rid of He gets mad dog. at the dog because he ain't he making no money. He needs something to do. He, he just, he just <laughs> be in the like, house. He's emotionally supportive. She's all, he's emotionally supportive. <laughs> so dog. let's just establish oh, this. Y'all are, y'all are our new friends, but we can't mm-hmm. ever go out to eat with y'all. Yes, you can. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, you better not look I at me. eat. He's the one this, that's crazy. This is what we try to tell all our friends. When yeah. you come around us, be who you are. Right, right, right. There's no judgment. Enjoy your hamburger. I wish I could eat the hamburger. I'm going to eat the hamburger. But do not come around me and try to order a salad and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't change up. Like, keep it real. Just no, be a hundred. Do that. They really yeah. struggle with they that. Really? Also, we also don't drink, right? Okay. We're probably one of the only people that we really know that don't drink. So when people come around, the they first thing they want to be like, oh, man, I really, oh, really, I really don't, drink. don't drink that much. Uh, <laughs> I only drink on Saturdays. You like, know, it's been a whole enjoy your time. Like, man, you don't have it's just to do not that. Right, 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 right. It's your <laughs> life, man. Enjoy your life. Girl, I told you, y'all y'all just smell like green drinks. So when people sit next to you, they start, like, evaluating their life. They do. So, we're going to have to think about it. You know, we just had I think we should change our entire refrigerator out. <laughs> well, that's why I was motivated to order the Green Goddess drink for lunch and sitting in there for you. That's an inspiration motivation to try to bring it But see, now, see, now here's the do. funny thing about it. So, we don't go hard in the paint with it, but we do understand it's important, right? Because so, I used to be a fitness trainer. Oh, wow. You know, okay. license and everything. And mm-hmm. I still go crazy in the gym <laughs> when I need to. <laughs> <Why, laughs> like and I good. can't train with her. You know what I mean? Because... <laughs> She's like, uh-uh, I ain't she doing that. No, that's she's, too much pressure. She swears I'm always telling her not to eat this, et cetera, et cetera. So but also, we want get partners, it. He's no trainers. longer a fitness trainer because... That was the first let thing me, I me, said. I Used to why? be. Wait, did, did, let me explain. Can I get uh-huh. it out? So let me explain. Get it right. Let um, me see. Here's the thing. I fully support anything my husband wants to do. And mm-hmm. he's been many things in our 18-year mm-hmm. relationship. I support it because when he puts his mind to something, he's successful with it. Wherefore art thou forever, <laughs> if that's a word, I don't trust everybody. Period. Mm-hmm. So, and you may go through this too. People would slide into his women, would mm-hmm. slide into his DMs, wanting him to train them. And I could see it from a mile away. I'm like, babe, she don't want you to train her. Why is she ringing your phone three in the morning? What, so you could count her calories at three <laughs> in the morning? Why does she, but I let it live. You know, I let it live for a while. But but am I right or am I right that you got to see a few of them had the wrong yeah 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 the wrong idea? See, I'm not even mind. letting it get there because uh-huh. they'll be you like stretch my no legs around here. Oh, we're not stretching. We're not stretching anything. Not stretching. Not stretching. Not stretching. <laughs> do y'all deal with that? Or? Oh, 100 yeah, percent. Girls yeah. sliding his DM for all types. Of, and you know what? He, and with his company with G Shred, I don't mind when it's business questions mm-hmm. as long as it's what it is, and we yeah. have to create mm-hmm. those boundaries. But he also just launched his consulting company, mm-hmm. right? Yes. So a lot of times. For the most part, it's been men who kind of log in. They go a whole hour conversation. 
conversation, Zoom. Right. No problem. But then he was like, oh, it's a girl who... <laughs> I was like, oh, here we go. Up. Okay, let's talk about this. Because yeah. girls might want to get up in the camera like, oh, this is the area I want to work on. We're not doing none of that. <laughs> Sit down. Talk about well, it. Well, this is a very real conversation, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, yes, you yes, wonder yes. how the wives deal with it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, I we, don't. You won't. We're yeah, not, we, we just know, I don't we care just what know it looks like to other people boundaries. either. At the end of the day, yeah. if it don't build fruit, we don't want it. So uh, every money so ain't good it, money. It ain't always good money. Right. So you, it breaks right. the you peace. keep that money. <laughs> but with the consulting thing, I think we done build the rapport and yeah. uh, and uh, basically just me and her, just where everybody see us. It always be on respect level. For the most we don't really yeah. get. That kind, of, that much, too much these days because they're I like, come off crazy. we used to try early on because you know everybody want to <laughs> test and see if what they actually putting out there is real. For right. sure, now always, I think always. people are like nine years in, we give up. We right. haven't got no right, right. tease yet. We right. haven't got can't find nothing to, in the blush. Can't find nothing wrong because yeah. it's nothing. So fun. finally, we right. done, a lot of I think majority on gave up. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then That's I'll put good. them on blast online anyway. Get this another one in the DM. Y'all go get her. But that's how you do it, right? You call it out before the blogs call it out. Right. Right. Yeah. And the Bible mm-hmm. says, bring them to the church. Uh-huh. <laughs> Speaking well, I always said, I mean, with, with us having the TV show, mm-hmm. um, you know, we talked about it before we opened our lives up because mm-hmm. it's just a totally different beast with cameras yeah. in your house, yeah. in your home. Yeah. And we talked about it. And I said, Mike, that means we have to be open with everything mm-hmm. because it people love transparency. Yeah. Yes. Even if yeah. you're fallible, mm-hmm. even if every, if listen, our stuff stinks sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, so let's call it out. Yeah. We are not perfect. But I said to him, we got to be good and get ahead of anything then mm-hmm. before it becomes like gossip fodder. Right, if right. something happens, we got to head straight to the gram uh-huh. and let folks know this is what it is. So when y'all find out I got arrested for kicking that lady in her back, <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But you know what I'm no, saying. No, you do. <laughs> you we have to put those boundaries in place. And one thing we believe is, you know, always guarding our gates. So yeah. for other people, it looks like insecurity or trust mm-hmm. issues. But for us, it's the security that yeah. we have mm-hmm. to protect what God has put together. Sure. So that mm-hmm. no man can bring come in between you know, mm-hmm. so um, that's just what it is. Yeah, we truly feel gate. being ultimate transparent. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I have nothing to hide. At the end yeah. of the day, you got stuff in your closet, too. So right. if, even if I tell you mine, you could try to judge right. me if you mm-hmm. want to. But at the end of the day, we know the truth. But I don't care anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I will give you my truth. You can take it. Mm-hmm. And do whatever up, you want I can own up it to is. it. Yeah. We all yeah. fall short. That's the time. thing about yeah. delivering authenticity every time. Every time. You know, you can't, there's no catch me outside. Yeah, there's yeah. no catch you me. You never exactly. catch me. What you see outside, that's what I'm saying. When you see me in the street, people always say that to us. They'll be like, man, y'all actually look just like what y'all show uh-huh. online. I'll be like, what? Well, what, what, did, what, your, you what did you think you was going to see different? Right, right, right. That's the same thing we get as well. You know, it's the. They can't be that good on TV. Yeah. They don't love each other that much on TV. It's They're a pleasant not, surprise, you know though, I mean? because yeah. unfortunately yes. we do live Which in a world great. of fakeness, right? right. A lot oh, yeah. of people only oh, show yeah. the good stuff, or they only, mm-hmm. you know, they're not. They're not what you see. Right. So right. I don't take to even take offense to it. Mm-hmm. We were in the airport. Um, and we were kind of cuddling, you know. And mm-hmm. I was giving them some smooches, <laughs> and this lady leans in as she's walking past us, and she's like. <gasps> Y'all really like each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh okay, let me go, mom. mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? and I was like, oh, we were just like making out like kids. Uh-huh. But that's the stuff. You that's gotta be real. Yeah. You yeah. gotta. That, that's yeah. why I believe you all have become so successful. That's mm-hmm. why I believe we've become successful because people recognize. The yeah. real. Yes. Yeah. But but let's go back. How did y'all meet in the first place? I want to hear this story. So you it was. You want me to tell it? You, you he, always, he always tell it. You always like to tell it. I always, okay, let me just say again, this is our what I like to call our BC days, right? So before Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. We this is what had to do with being in a club. Yeah. Uh-huh. It wasn't a regular club. <laughs> it was a club, though. It was a uh-huh. club. It was Onyx in Atlanta, right? Okay. I had okay. just moved to Atlanta. Um, this is back in September 2009. I had just got here that spring. And um, I was outside the club waiting for valet. Yeah, strip clubs have valet. <laughs> it's nice. Um, no. Anyways, but he was leaning against his car, and I was waiting for my car to come around. And he was like, come here. Come talk to me. You, are, you I'm a good catch. And I just looked at him like, first of all, I'm not getting up right. to walk she to you. Did. And he just looked like, but before he could make his way to me, a bunch of little groupie girls came out and was like, right. And they were surrounding him. Yeah. So I got in my car and I left. She mm. did. And I then 
the spot is a hot spot in Atlanta. So a so couple Thursday of nights night later, we I think that was a Tuesday night. And then Thursday night, <laughs> yeah. we was back in the uh-huh. club. And I, everyone always asks this, but I was not a stripper. Just no, nothing to strippers. But no, it's I was just hanging out. <laughs> but people always assume, like, damn, was she a dancer? No, I, I don't have No, the right. thing is, in Atlanta, strip clubs are like restaurants. That's like, uh, right. They gamble all the time. I go in that shoe pool and gamble all day. That's what all the guys did during off season. But anyway, so... um. The next night, a couple nights later, inside the club, he's in there, and um, I see him. Now, I'm not liking him. Now, I want I want I him to approach that, me, but yeah. I'm not going to yeah, yeah. go you to talk. him. Mm-hmm. Look at you. So, I just I make myself, my presence known, and I walk past him just so he can see me. Give him a little uh-huh. eye contact. And then that's when he kind of pulled me. He's like, okay, I'm not going to let you pass me again. Oh, he nah. pulled you? Yeah. Oh, I grabbed Wait, that instead, arm Instead, did he say it again? Did he say, I'm a good <laughs> catch again? Because that's the I'm line of the day. Again, I'm a good catch. I said the first time. Yeah, yeah. But the second time, I said, I'm not going to lose you this night. I think I'm not going to lose you. Yeah, I'm not going to let you pass me again. Uh-huh. And then after that we and went then to that the night. best spot ever which was Waffle House yeah but uh, see this is but how this we got, I got oh you can tell go ahead you go ahead go ahead so throughout the night I, I rode my home did I rob him yes I did rob my homeboy uh-huh. so I told him to leave me okay <laughs> so he left me at the club and then when I seen her I said sweet I don't have a ride home <laughs> Can you give me a ride to the house <laughs> she was like where you live at I said I'm only you know two three minutes up the street I live yeah. right off Lenny's at the time and she was like you ain't got no car so I rode with my butt I promise you he left me yeah, she was yeah. like Okay, I'll take you. I yeah. said, but let's stop by Waffle House first. Yeah. And then we went to Waffle House, and we might have stayed in there three hours. Uh-huh. But I think hours. how she got me was, i never seen this before. And she's a beautiful woman, and you always expect, you know, beautiful women, you know, they're always kind of selfish. Uh-huh. So we go Wait, to Waffle House. Wait, say that House. again one more time. You know, beautiful women always, you know, you kind of look in selfish. In your experience. You know, my selfish experience. in your experience. Selfish uh-huh. in my experience. Okay. okay. you know, okay. they always used to, somebody always giving us. Uh-huh. Okay. You know. uh-huh. But at this time, we went to Waffle House. My waffle came out. You know, normal day at Waffle House. She Which means the waffles my, were dry. Go ahead. They no, was no. a little... The no, maybe, not well, we make sure do Go. She grabs my waffle uh-huh. and she cuts my waffle up And buttered me. it. And buttered it uh-huh. for uh-huh. me. First uh-huh. night. Ever. First night, uh-huh. first day. Then I see her take the ketchup pack because I had some hash some brown. um hash brown. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And she opened up the ketchup packs and set them by my plate. I said, Jesus Christ. Opened up your heart. Oh, she opened up my heart. said, who does this? I said, oh, I done found her. She's the one. But wait, I've never seen but, that. You know, but my heard, mama's boy said that was amazing. To yeah. me. Just but but Chi-Chi, yeah. I heard you say that you had to learn how to be feminine as a, mm. as a yeah, single see, mom. See, the thing about it have... is I didn't even know that impressed him so much. The thing was, I was a single mom. I'm raising a toddler three at the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm just naturally nurturing. I'm naturally putting my kid before <laughs> me at home. So when I did it with him, it wasn't even like I was doing it for him. It was what I'm used to doing. Oh, so gotcha. you weren't doing it for me? So I wasn't even thinking. That's the oh, part that's so crazy. <laughs> that, that was the game changer to okay. impress him. I'm just used to doing that for yeah, a toddler. Yeah, they yeah. can't open up their own ketchup package. I got to cut up her food and butter So you just stuff. saw a big toddler? Yeah, she just so saw a big really, toddler. She saw. I think I just did it out of just a natural habit. I was just doing it. I didn't even know that it was a big deal uh-huh. or I was walking in my femininity. I'm just naturally mm-hmm. a... A nurturer. A, a nurturer. Yeah, a nurturer. Mm-hmm. So what, I'll do that for anyone. What does it mean to walk in your femininity? Yeah. You know, honestly, I'm really learning that now. Okay. Um, I think meeting him earlier on, like I said, I was a single mom and I've been on my own since, since I was pretty young. So I'm, I've am operated in survival mode for so long. Mm. Just go, just go, just go. Um, so I'm I'm really just coming into a season of like, I, I just want to be soft. I want to cry when I want to yeah, cry. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to push through. I don't want to live nothing heavy. I, I guess <laughs> she doesn't want to live nothing heavy no, but, no but more. Can we, can we just <laughs> lean into yeah, that? Yeah, we need yeah. to. Can we please mm-hmm. lean into that for yeah. a minute? Because I think there's a lot of women that relate to that. Mm-hmm. Where I personally relate to that for so yeah. many years. Mm-hmm. We thought it was more... We. The me and the mm-hmm. I and myself. Right. Yeah. Thought... <laughs> thought that it was more attractive to be independent, independent. Mm-hmm. to be mm-hmm. strong mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and to show I can do it and, and I, don't I don't need, need nobody. you to do it. Uh-huh. Yeah. We, we thought, <laughs> us, us stiletto hustlers out uh-huh. in the world, uh, thought that mm-hmm. that was what men were yeah. attracted to. Yeah. Only Independent woman by Neo. God dang. Goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> but messed us up. If only no. <laughs> we had known that all we had to do was say, can you help me, please? Yeah. And I just have struggle me? with that. Yeah. Like they, saying yeah. I need help. When it's I need endearing. Help. It's yeah. endearing, especially yeah. to men, to alpha men. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's the key endearing. too, when you ask for help, let us help you. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like, can you help me lift this? And you got the other side of it trying to help me. Like, can you let go oh, and I, let me no, do it? No, he wants me to go to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, we don't do it together. <laughs> no, but I 100% agree with you. No. It's like once you be vulnerable and open that, that door up, yeah. then let us help you. Right. And yeah. trust. 
that we got you. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. that's it. That, it's the trust. It's being vulnerable because sometimes you still feel like I want to give it to you, but I don't want to completely give it to you. Uh-huh. I don't know about 100% trust you're going right. to handle it right. right. And that's what we all With the emotional with. part. Mm-hmm. But it's also because it's, you know, you have to earn that trust. Mm-hmm. 100%. But mm-hmm. I will trust you and I will follow you when I know that you're not going to steer me off a cliff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when And when I know you're following God. Like when yeah, I know you're going to take me to a place. Where are you taking me? Where are you right. taking me? That's well, we how, go I, that right. That's how right. I was able to relax right. in my yeah. femininity because I could trust that, you know, number one, he was righteous mm-hmm. and, and he really truly loved me and wanted better, not just for himself, but for us 100%. as a family, mm-hmm. as a unit. But before then, baby, mm-mm. No, mm-hmm. it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. It is. And I think even amongst men, man, when we start really following God Mm -hmm. and have that righteousness and that accountability, Mm -hmm. you can see it, man. Mm -hmm. Because in the day, we even feel something in us and it stirs up in us in our spirit. Like we able to even walk and you can just tell, like, mm-hmm. oh, in the day he's walking in favor. Yes. Oh, you yeah. know, yeah. you know, why you don't have that same lustful heart that everybody else got chasing women? It don't even affect you. you don't, not at I all. I mean, it ain't even something to assume. And they be like, how? I be like, right. brother, he hates the thing about it is you, like, you got to get that relationship. Yeah. Like, this it's, is the yeah. relationship. And they don't want to say it's only God. I be telling them all day long, our foundation, 100%. our philosophy, God. Yes. That's Period. That's Big the only time. way we got here. Big time. But, but it took you, I'm sure, oh, it, it took, took you time, time to get there mm-hmm. as 100%. people, right? Because we're we're all still evolving. Tell me about, I know this had to be a thing. You dating an, an athlete, an ex-athlete, <laughs> right? <laughs> not recommended. What, what, what were some of the not challenges you guys had to overcome? You know, um, it's 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 tough because, okay, so I can't disclose the show we just shot because we had to sign an NDA mm-hmm. and it's not released yet. But on this particular show was a lot of challenges. Mm-hmm. And um, we learned so much even about it. I can It made me appreciate and understand his philosophy as well. I guess, Philosophy, whatever it's called. Philosophy. 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 <laughs> um, and his and his programming better, but it also made me realize that as much as I want to be a part of that, I'm that's not for me mm-hmm. at the same time mm-hmm. because he is a uh, what okay, like with feelings, for the instance. He's as an athlete, you just push through. If mm-hmm. you fall, you get hurt, you get up, mm-hmm. you gotta go. It's mm-hmm. the next play. Right. We don't have time to stress about yeah. what just happened. That another mm-hmm. play is about to start, right. the clock is going, right? right? So to me, it used to feel like you just don't care about my feeling. It's dismissive. Yes. Like, I need to process it. I need to walk mm. it through. And he's mm-hmm. like, he's not, he's never learned how to walk that out or mm-hmm. understand what that looks like. So because, that athlete mm-hmm. life, he was living that on and off the field. On and off. 100%. It's, it's yeah. who he is. It's like, mm-hmm. that's just what we do. Like, yeah. and I, and a part of me, like when we shot this show, um, like I said, it was so many challenges every other day. I was like, I get it. If I'm mad at you about what's happening right now during this game, mm-hmm. I don't have time because the next game was about to start. Mm-hmm. So I actually got to enter his world a mm-hmm. little bit there to make me understand how he pushes through. Mm-hmm. But it's still, um, I think maybe me understanding that more made him understand me. I'm like, you know, I actually don't like to be challenged. Mm-hmm. I'm not really into competition like mm-hmm. that. I like to compete me against me, but not against anybody else. Right. Um, but he, he thrives in competition. Mm-hmm. He thrives in challenges. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I've had a hard enough life. Yeah, <laughs> I just yeah. want things to be easy <laughs> and simple. Like, don't, don't compete with me. I don't, like, I don't need the competition. That. So no. I think in this season that we're really just kind of coming out of and that I'm really learning how to walk in that softness, mm-hmm. now it's, it's helping him understand that the life I've lived has been filled with challenges. I've been on my own for a long mm-hmm. time. I've had to fight a lot of battles mm-hmm. and I've had to do it on my own. And mm-hmm. I had to figure out who I was on my own. I I just had to figure it out for him. He's always had a plan. Yeah. You, you had a school, you had a career, you had you it was always a road to follow eventually whether you had hiccups along the way, you had a path. Yeah. Mine was the complete opposite and I'm exhausted. But I, and, and, but I want to know like so in that moment she expressed to you that you're you're treating my emotions mm-hmm. like it's a play. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> you know, you're I, I tell them you're go, bouncing you're, back. Go back to the film room. <laughs> oh. How did, how did you up? process that though? Oh, it was tough. We probably was emotionally disconnected for years. Yeah. Mm. Like on the surface, we was cool, but when it comes to getting deep, we could deep. never get there. Cause I, I didn't have those emotions. I didn't have the mm-hmm. I, I thought I didn't have the same feeling she had. Like, babe, I don't have that issue. Like, I don't have those times where I want to sit in my mess like. What's next? Yeah. I always felt like, man, I learn, understand, figure out what happened wrong. Mm-hmm. Let's keep pushing. Right. We mm-hmm. got a plan. We got a destination we're trying to get to. I ain't mm-hmm. got time to be sitting over here with you. So we were so <laughs> disconnected. You said August so what much. What changed, though? Counseling. Counseling. I okay. actually, yes, a lot of therapy. Oh. So the number one thing we went to for, me to, for me to figure out how to go emotionally deep, mm. 
I had to get a counselor. A, ther- mm. a therapist. A therapist. I, I didn't okay. know they called him a therapist. Right, yeah. So we got one that's biblical to all our, even Everything our therapists always is always biblical. foundation got to mm-hmm. be God. Yes. Mm-hmm. But he's, we still on this journey and he's mm-hmm. teaching me how to connect and go deeper yeah. and understand my emotions. Mm-hmm. And how do you, you teach always someone? Be going that journey. How do you teach someone oh, you how to go stop. deeper? Oh, you never stop. How do they teach you how to go deeper? I, I well, think we, the biggest thing you've well, learned, well, well, I think, because he's, it's well, communication for one. Even though our experiences are different in life, we've probably felt. I've, I've, I've felt abandonment. I felt rejected. There's probably mm-hmm. been times on the field or in your life you felt that too. Yeah. So it's really just connecting with that feeling. But my thing is to never change the way he is or how he operates because he leads strongly and mm-hmm. that is great for him. It's the reason why he is who he is today. But it's him learning that that's okay, but when you talk to me, got to be soft. Yes. It has to. I just yes. need gentleness. Yes. Just mm-hmm. talk to me. Don't talk at me. Right. And his natural, you know, he get with his boys and it's uh, 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 uh. Mm-hmm. Everybody else he gets on live. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I don't want none of that. I'm yes. solution mindset. Yes. So I don't want none of that. Uh-huh. I want to figure out how we going to fix this. No, just right. listen. Right, right. Next? So I had to, went throughout the, the therapy, he was teaching me basically the emotional the emotional will mm-hmm. and the feelings will mm-hmm. and understand when you're mad, it's okay to just say you're mad, mm-hmm. but we got to go deeper. Yes. Yeah. So, what does that mad yes. look like? Mm-hmm. Oh, did it stem from frustration about mm-hmm. something or did it come from another place? So mm-hmm. let's go deeper with the feeling words. So that's what I'd be trying to have conversation with my baby mm-hmm. about, like, bringing up big words I ain't never heard of before. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it, it's just a way for us to connect. So It's a it way that me, makes him yeah. slow down. So it's yes. different for him because yeah. he's used to speed. And me having to receiver. go back in my yeah. history and found out and really tune in to why I am like I yeah. am. Yeah. Like, what happened in your childhood? Well, my childhood was good. No, Everything went good, right? right. Let's talk That's about those issues yes. or those ways when your father wasn't there. How did that make you feel? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did that bring strength mm-hmm. out of you to where now you just want to push through, you don't want to mm-hmm. sit in it? Yep. So it makes me have to go back yep. and now I'm able to kind of be more emotional. Mm. You're doing so good. Yeah, so y'all you beautiful, bad. smart, so and I, y'all spiritual. <laughs> yes. So and I tell anybody, if I want to give you any advice, in marriage, if you feel like you need help, boy, mm. go get it. Oh, yes. It's not, make, oh, it's not God, a bad thing. Oh, my God. It's not a bad thing. We don't have it figured out. We don't mm-hmm. have it figured out all the time. And well, yeah. Sometimes we need that insight. I, and I think, I think there's so much wisdom in that statement because... So many times just as people, we're not whole. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're broken. Yes. We're wandering around trying to figure out who we are. Mm-hmm. And then we get some with someone else that don't know who they are mm-hmm. and they're still broken. Yep. So how can you have a whole healed Impossible. marriage or right. relationship if you still haven't done the work on yourself? Yeah. Therapy is not a bad word. It's an right. entire word. And it does start mm-hmm. with a capital T. And sometimes y'all need to add an exclamation <laughs> point <laughs> on the end. Yeah. It's a good thing. And not only that, that oh, go ahead. Yeah. in seasons... Of life, oh, mm. us as people change. You know what I mean? No Whatever you meet that person at, they're gonna be different. Shoot, within an hour, that person may have learned something 100%. that they, you didn't know, and they're gonna be a different. You're gonna be like, listen, babe, I just learned about this. Maybe we just learned. We just learned about. You just something. wanted to touch my. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. <laughs> Maybe they learned something new about finances, mm-hmm. yeah. and they're like, listen, I'm over that. Mm-hmm. We got to learn this new thing together. Yeah. You know but what she I mean? just yeah. said, she just said, I'm I'm not 24 anymore. Yeah. Yeah. How, how old are you now? I'm 37. And so you met her as a 24 year old woman, yes. mm-hmm. but this 37 year old. <laughs> do you find that you guys have to reintroduce yourselves oh, in your goodness. marriage? Yeah, you know what? After this season that we just kind of came through, um, we went on a date, which was so good because mm-hmm. we went on this date with each other. Because, like I said, I'm trying to walk in this softness, and that's new for me. I'm mm-hmm. learning me again right oh, my now. My baby, tough. When I say she's the fire, oh, she's the fire. <laughs> oh no, always we can tell. To smoke. We can tell. To smoke. <laughs> that was she's always tell me. Oh, I need you to be soft to me. I'm like. How when you up here cussing me out, but you want me to be the one that don't say nothing back? Like you just want me to be the one that got the water, the right, right. but you can keep cussing me, calling me, calling you out. I'm not. I was trying and to get a good story that? just now, and now you took it over there. My bad, but don't Bring just be our argument. Bring it back. Be so frustrated. I'm yeah. like, sweetie, you are fire 24, but you yeah. want me to always come and soften. But you gotta say why I'm fire. No, I understand. So now, now I mean, I know why, yeah. but mm-hmm. it used to be hard because it used to always be attacked to me. Yes, you know, even though it always wasn't me to be on me mm-hmm. or what had nothing to do with me. Mm-hmm. But that's just what... But look, you know, fires history. don't start by themselves. No, he's he's some, someone <laughs> ignites the fire. Let's just be clear. He's we know this. For sure. but, but you were yeah. saying so the, twi- right the 24 now. versus well, the 37. Yeah, okay, so anyway, we're on a... Okay, for one, let me 
we say, I think the most important thing in marriage or and to be together as long as probably you have and mm-hmm. we have is the willingness to adjust, right? Yes. Because we do evolve and we do change. Yeah. And sometimes that means reevaluating, recreating new visions, mm-hmm. reba- new boundaries, mm-hmm. the whole nine. Right. Um, so understanding that in a season that we just kind of came out of and me trying to walk in this softness, we went on a date. And we act like we didn't know each other. Mm-hmm. Just straight from the beginning. Get this is getting good game. role playing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah that yeah. role is so good. Like, And he was all in and I was all in. And it was just like, date again. Like, yes. date me like you don't know me. Yeah. Like, date me with intention. Date mm-hmm. me like you're trying to understand who I am in it. You yeah, know, true. fully. So I think doing stuff like that helps a lot in this season. Because I'm Effort. learning to understand that I don't always know what I feel or why I'm emotional mm-hmm. or why I'm upset. But I need to be able to say that. I don't know. I don't really know right now, but I'm Can figuring you tr- it out. Try this too to add to the dating, the continue with date. Big key, continue to date each other, right? Yes. Right? Continue to do that. I would tell couples to try this as well. It's, it's an exercise that someone had just been talking about a long time ago and it just stuck with me. Every now and then, reapproach the person and say, how can I love you better today? We do that all the time. Or what can I do to love you better? Because yeah. as we're growing... There's something else they may need that they never needed before. 100%. You know Can what I, I mean? share something? Mm-hmm. Can I share something? Obviously, 18 years together, we've done a lot of growing. Right. Mm-hmm. I, too, am not the same woman that he met. Um, and there have been times where I felt alone in a relationship. 100%. and, and I, Or I felt like it was my job to be a strong woman and strong mm-hmm. mom. Mm-hmm. And he's, whole time, he's like, let me do some of this. Let mm-hmm. me take some of this on. Why are you, you know, why are you trying to take the world on your mm-hmm. shoulders? Mm-hmm. And... When he actually said that to me, my entire being softened. Mm. You know, it just, it was like you actually care. You mm. want to learn how to love me better. Mm-hmm. You want to learn my love language. Mm-hmm. And for me, mine is um, safety, mm-hmm. security. Yeah. I have to yeah. feel, because, you know, we are what we've come from, yeah, right? Until we I'm deal sad. with that trauma. For mine, I had to feel safe. I had to feel secure. And then I had to learn his love language mm-hmm. again. People always ask us, like, how do y'all still like each other <laughs> so much? Because you can love somebody and not like them. Uh-huh. So always. they say, how yep. do y'all, still like each other. Y'all are bleh, <laughs> all over each other all the time. It's because we fall in love or, uh, in love again and again. Yeah. I, the woman I am today, may not have fallen in love with the man that I met, but this man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. This man right here? Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. Yeah. It's effort. It's called effort, y'all. Yeah, Try it. Effort. It's called Be effort. intentional. <laughs> yes, and very much so. I think that's key is we all cultivate a servant heart. Yes. And then they always want to serve my wife. Mm-hmm. I always, I don't look for a uh, it's not ever intentional. I don't have ever have a, it's always pure. Yeah. You know, That's every time I, it's not a selfishly mm-hmm. motivated anything I want to do for her. Right. Mm-hmm. So if I'm always trying to serve her and she's always trying to serve me, man, mm-hmm. how much better can it get? Because mm-hmm. yeah. then what are we talking about? Because exactly. we always over here, hey, baby, what can I do for you today? Yeah. Hey, baby, yeah. what, I got you yeah. today. Be like, yeah. oh, Lord, this is amazing. Look, look, look. That's how we yeah. can walk around smiling, but yeah. we yeah. all I, trying to point fingers. I know about y'all. I'm loving this conversation. Yeah, I'm trying to beat you to the sermon today. I'm trying to beat you to the sermon today because that opens it up. It benefits everything. It's a book, though. It's a book to talk about. It's called You Don't Marry Yourself. You guys have written a book. Mm -hmm. Tell us why and what we'll find in the book. Um, Well, one thing we definitely like to promote is love and marriage. And Mm -hmm. and look around. It's every blog you see someone's getting divorced Mm -hmm. and people are shocked because I feel like sometimes people do more work on camera than they're doing behind. Mm -hmm. And I think in reality, we have to lower our expectations of our spouses and give them the freedom to be who God created them to be. Mm -hmm. And when you can walk in that and realize they're very different than you. We don't yes. marry ourselves. Mm-hmm. My upbringing, my family dynamic, everything about my story and how we got to mm-hmm. meet mm-hmm. in the same place is completely mm-hmm. different. Yes. And if we can allow each other the freedom in that, then, you know, I think God can do amazing things in that. But a lot mm-hmm. of times we're like, well, I wouldn't do you like that. Mm-hmm. You're like, you're right. But right. I'm not, not you. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, exactly. I don't see it like that. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah. Because I'm not you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you learn how to just be able to give each other the, spree- the freedom and just respect mm-hmm. your differences, mm-hmm. then it's a game changer. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the yes. book is even more of a workbook. So it's, yes, a, it's homework you do. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. have some questions you got to ask yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And go yeah. deep with yourself. Because a lot of people don't go to therapy, but it's more therapeutic because sometimes we're going to ask ourselves that tough question we need to answer. Yes. We always want to point a finger. Mm-hmm. But let's get on you. Let's right. stand yeah. on Check the your own Yes, heart. exactly. Don't even worry about her. I got They got her. No, where, I got her. Where can they find the book? <laughs> you know. It's on GardnerAccess.com. Yes. GardnerAccess.com. We okay. Yeah. Maybe you missed the book. Gar- I tried to Spell it out right. So they, okay, so Gardner. Gardner Access. G-A-R-D-N-E-R-A-C-C-E-S-S.com. Mm-hmm. And then Gardner Access. G-Shred. 
G Shred Supplements, uh -huh. gshredsupplements.com. Okay. okay. Best supplement coming to market. It's already here. <laughs> we're growing crazy. You're trying to look like us. You know, we're growing crazy. We think crazy. marriage should be sexy. Yeah. So that's yes, another thing that's part of it. I think it should. I think physical appearance is so important. It is. One Literally. thing about it, when your spouse get on your nerve, but if they looking good and she's uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. like, you can let that be. Yeah. 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 He was mad yeah. at me. He was like, but then you went and put on those uh -huh. pants. You know, uh -huh. And I couldn't. Yeah. Right. You, could, you know, so sometimes, I, don't, I, I 100%, I don't want to say see, it's always superficial. It's only about, no. It's not superficial. It's not. Because here's what I find mind-boggling and crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Where in relationships sometimes people are like, oh, you should love me however I want to be, right? Uh -huh. And then if that person just doesn't, and the, let's you say the relationship yourself. separates, right? You know what's gonna happen. All of a revenge sudden that person body. starts to look over bad and look. Body. Why didn't we just do that for me? That's what. That's all I was trying to say. Yes. Yeah. Like you're looking good for everybody else now, but you don't look good that's for me. Why so not? Backwards. I it say that all sense. the time to women. I feel like a part of honoring your husband is honoring your own body because mm -hmm. your body isn't your own, mm -hmm. right? He mm -hmm. doesn't, you know. And statistically, they say once you get married, you have kids, you fall off. I'm like, let's break that. Mm -hmm. Let's break no more. Mm -hmm. This the new mom and dad, Bob. Like you know what I'm saying? It takes getting creative with your workouts and your nutrition and stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's important more for just than looks. Like, at exactly. this stage of my exactly. life, you know, I'm close to 40. I can't eat like I like I was not a teenager, mm -hmm. not just yeah. because I don't look the same when I do it, but I don't fine. feel mm -hmm. the same anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm getting sick. I'm getting allergies. Mm -hmm. The food isn't even what it used to be. Yeah. So we have to constantly be careful what we're Let me clear ourselves. something up because they're going to tear all of us apart with the whole weight situation when I was all talking right. about how people need to look, et cetera. <laughs> okay. It's all about health. communicating. Yeah. It's about health, but it's about, I'm talking about to each his own, right? Mm -hmm. It's about yeah. communicating with the person you meet when you meet them. Yeah. Hey, this is what I like. This is what I'm, what I'm about. Mm -hmm. Is is that okay? Let it let it out in front, you know? Yeah. Say, oh, I am okay with you being And also be the example. Or whatever. That too, yeah. exactly. Yes. But I think but it, if you don't let it be known exactly. and then all of a sudden five years in and you start to bring it up, they're like, what? You, you never you said never that to me before, that to me. You never right? Me know that. So express yourself in the beginning. Have those hard conversations in the beginning. But I also think what I'm hearing, the, the theme that keeps rolling mm -hmm. around is all about effort. Mm -hmm. The amount yes. of effort yes. that you put into asking, mm -hmm. how can I love you better? The effort that you put into understanding her emotions, the effort that you both put in to keep yourself Physically mm -hmm. together and spouse. sexy Everybody and marriage. Wants something nice. We don't yeah. keep riding a ragged car. We're going to get a new upgraded version because we like the nicer. So if people want to act like they are okay with it, I tell them all the time, buddy, she might tell you she okay with that dad, but I promise you, when that guy walked by that pool uh -huh. with them abs, uh -huh. she over there uh -huh. with that. that mm. You know, she's not going to tell you. She's going to say, babe, I love you. Right, right, but right. I guarantee she's like, boy, did you uh -huh. see him? <laughs> yep. Go ahead and let's go ahead and all get ourselves together. Yep. But I also think it's about intention and, and love being an action mm -hmm. because girls will get dressed up for a girl's night. Yeah. But then we'll go on a date night with their husbands yes. and we'll put that thing in. Yes. And that's not cool. Yes, yeah. because they, he's supposed to love me however I look. Yeah, but at the same time, he yeah. would have Appreciate don't, like that. don't make my love gotta be so hard. <laughs> well, I have a personal question that I'm sure a lot of people are asking sure. too. With, okay, with mm -hmm. you, with you approaching 40, right? You mm -hmm. guys uh -huh. are fit, yeah. you're yeah. healthy. What are the, some of the vitamins and supplements that you recommend that someone middle aged uh, take on a daily basis mm -hmm. to make themselves still feel vital and energized? Mm -hmm. Oh man, to me, the number one supplement, especially for most people during this time, vitamin D. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand that. that vitamin from the sun is so important, yes. especially with muscle health, bone density, mm -hmm. just keeping you looking vibrant and young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not in the sun, so we are missing and lacking so much. Yes. Fish oils, which is the omega-3, which is great for your antioxidants, clean your liver and kidneys mm -hmm. out. I'm writing them down, y'all. They're all <laughs> on G-Shred. They're all on G-Shred, but it's so uh, many. Omega-3. Multivitamin <laughs> yeah. is always important for all your minerals and vitamins your body needs. Because mm -hmm. people don't understand, supplement is just meaning you're supplementing the, the nutrients and all the minerals that you're not getting from your food. Mm -hmm. So when we're not on a healthy diet and we're not mm -hmm. constantly eating cups and cups of vegetables, right. we're missing and lacking so much nutrients. Milk so now thistle. when we get older... Yeah. If you drink alcohol... If you drink milk alcohol, thistle. I, milk mm -hmm. thistle, please get that. If yeah. you drink alcohol, pop one before you go drinking. When you come home, mm -hmm. take another mm -hmm. one because you always want to detoxify that liver and kidney. Yes. Those are great. And then when you want to get into the performance and all of that, then mm -hmm. you get my fat burner, my... A fat then burner, now, true. that's what you take yeah, in the okay. morning. The G-Shred fat burner. burner. <laughs> Ooh, that G-Shred <laughs> fat burner. So, so stream thermogenic is One, amazing. two, three, four... Probably five different supplements so far. Mm -hmm. How do you combat those that are like, that's too much going into your system? Why not just go natural? 
because you can, you can naturally pick. if you can do it. If yeah. you okay. can say, okay, if you want to go natural, mm -hmm. don't take that multivitamin. Mm -hmm. But you got to eat three bowls of mm -hmm. cups of vegetables every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to eat this Raw. many of this, which you know yeah. you're not going to do. With yeah. no so butter or not, salt. If you're not going, if you can do it naturally and get all go the for it. Right. go for it. Be great. 100% great. Mm -hmm. but, but we want to be honest with ourselves. I'm not going to get it, so exactly. why would not supplement it? The mm -hmm. supplementation is just the same thing your body already needs. Mm -hmm. You're not supplementing something that's unnatural. Mm -hmm. What about for your natural. skin? Because y'all are glowing. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> what do you put on your skin? <laughs> God, just kidding. No, but, but I also want to recommend, too, because this is one thing I take religiously. That's What's that? um, G Shred, which I made him make get the factory to put <laughs> together, uh -huh. is the caffeine pills. Mm. As a mom, it's as a businesswoman, I'm so tired. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm fighting. The D3, I'm always, like, low in, so I always take that yeah. regularly. But I... Will not go a day. It's in my car. It stays with me. But we were taught caffeine is not good for us. So I take caffeine. Is, caffeine is good for you. Caffeine it's fine. This is, is it's not clean. It's, it's no crashing. Builder. Okay. It's yes. just clean. It's the only way I can function. What's not good is when you go get because a coffee only got maybe. 80 milligrams of caffeine, which ain't a lot. Mm -hmm. But what happens is when you put the creamer, mm -hmm. when you put the sugar, yeah. when you the put syrup. the syrup, mm -hmm. now yep. all of a sudden that turns into a 400 okay. calorie high okay. sugar. Correct. Uh, a lot of people drink. can't lose the weight and because now of what you're not understanding mm -hmm. that you actually drinking something that's unhealthy for you. So they want to mm -hmm. say it's caffeine. It's not the caffeine. It's not the caffeine. Okay. So here's what I have, guys. Vitamin <laughs> <laughs> D. Yes, please. K2D3. You can do that too. Okay. okay. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry about it. She's right. I need to get that. Okay. The omega 3. Uh -huh. The fish oil. So the fish oil. Uh -huh. Yes, take the that. The multivites. Uh -huh. You need that multivites. The, the whole wellness bundle, too. I think it all comes that in that. And it's this okay. is all G-Shreds. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. And it's the G-Shreds. G G-Shreds. The... You got the book. Mm -hmm. Right? And my wife got your own skin. And then I have got your, your own, own skin. So we talk about beauty and wellness and contouring our body, especially after kids. Like, so after I talked about having my second daughter at 30, that was the first time I really had to pipe down on my nutrition, my body being mm -hmm. different. So, um, I, so I started doing it all. So I have from sauna suits to wood therapy to um, natural detoxes because sometimes people don't like the supplements or the mm -hmm. caffeine. So there's right. like teas and um, pills, herbals. Um, Those are great kickstarts. Yeah, they're great kickstarts because a lot of times if you don't, if you don't cleanse your body out, you're yeah. just putting more stuff on yeah. top of it without yes. draining yeah. what yep. you need. Um, I suffer from like IBS. I don't go regularly. Mm. So it's the only thing that kind of helps regulate that for me. Mm -hmm. Um I have body wraps, body bands. What else do I have? She's full throttle. I got all kinds of stuff. You got business on business on business. What do you do yes. to keep that business functioning properly, money-wise, keep everything Ooh. under control? Who's overseeing it? Is it you two? You have someone else doing it's it? Us. We no, also, it's we us. We also got a mall. No, no, no. We got a money manager. We got I mean, we have, I mean, no, we have someone who handles like all the yeah, taxes and yeah, accounting and, okay. all that. and all that who handles yeah. the stuff for our yeah. business. But when it comes down to just the overall, we basically manage it. We're mm -hmm. all Like the money mind who Both of you equally. Yes. Yeah, he handles more his. I handle mine. Okay. They're both but I kind of guide her what she need to make sure she has it done in her business. <laughs> right, 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 right. Sometimes. <laughs> but see, see, so okay, we're different you open financially. Open this account. You right, right, right. You need to separate these two. Yeah, he'll do. help me. He definitely teaches but me all of that because, you know, uh -huh. I, the way I grew up, I, I ain't get much. She just want to build the account. I got to keep what I have. Got you. I'm the one that's more of the saver. I have to, I tell him, he'll just jump right off the damn cliff. I'd be like, pull that, baby. He's like, I'm going to go for that. I'm like, he's a, he's yeah, a risk taker. Yeah. Like, I, oh, my God. Yeah. But we, it's never enough time, guys. Never, oh, my never. gosh. There's so much. I have so many other questions. <laughs> but but make sure G Shred yes. supplements. Mm -hmm. yes. Your, your own, own skinny, skinny. Uh -huh. and then the book is you don't marry yourself, yes. Rod yes. and Leticia yes. Gardner. Yes. We don't call it Chi Chi now because yes. we know yes. them. Okay, yes. 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 the links are in our bios as well. Okay, and, and we we will always leave with one to go on, one to grow on. Mm -hmm. So here is my very um, heartfelt, intense one to go on. Mm. Cut that man's waffles. <laughs> Open that man's man, ketchup you packet. Might, you might be setting the bar. You setting the standard with that one. Yeah, you, are. you are. You got one to grow on, babe. Go ahead. I do have one to grow on, and it comes from the book a little bit. You know, it's about being individuals mm -hmm. and understanding that it's okay to be individuals yeah. even in your union. Yes. Because we can be in a union to where we sometimes lose ourselves within the union because mm -hmm. we're so gravitated or so attracted to someone else's individuality you know, that we maintain. try to become that mm -hmm. versus trying to sustain your own. So individuality is okay. Yes. Yes. Within your union. That. And that is another episode yes, of, of the, the marriage, marriage and Money. 
That's podcast. What I'm podcast. Make With sure you subscribe. Subscribe and make sure you click those notifications on, guys. It was so great. And tell a friend. It was amazing. Yes. Married to Real Estate on <laughs> HGTV. Make sure you watch it.